Hello, you all. I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing swell on today. Thank the Most High. This is another day He's created, and we're alive, and we're blessed to be here. So first, I want to start off by giving thanks. Um, but today, I'm thinking that this is this will be the tenth episode of I Am Mend. I just paid for and been editing logos for the podcast so I'm happy about that and I want to send a shout out to the person who did that his name was Luciano um, Lucci and if you can see the new logo he created it um, and you can find him on fiber.com no that's not paid for but there is a link you can find for me and you can use that and you can get up to a hundred dollars off okay and then uh, I would also like to shout out to a broke in summer for letting me use their music in this podcast and the name of the song that you'll be hearing is midnight song it's a very beautiful instrumental and as soon as I heard it, I had to have it. And I knew it would go perfectly with the podcast from here on out. For some of you content creators, you know that it can be a big challenge just to find music or just to be able to use music, you know, and not, you know, with your content, along with your content, you know, music kind of just kind of ties it all together and it's hard to find. And me, I only want particularly instrumentals I don't want words I don't want anybody chatting anything. I just want a good clean song uh, with no words and this song just fit perfectly to me so I was sitting here thinking that I should do like a recap of like the past 10 episodes of or the past 9 episodes of I Am Men that I've created and is there anything deeper that I gotten um, like after the podcast was done? Because a lot of these subjects and all of these subjects, I would always leave like, Dane, I should have added that. Dane, I should have added this. I should have added that. I should have added this. And I never actually felt like it was completed, if that makes any sense. They, they were complete. And maybe that's the only thing that was supposed to be revealed but I don't know but I always leave thinking that there's something more I could have done or you know there was a few more things that I had to say and I'm gonna start off by doing an introduction three minutes into the podcast okay so I am Jasmine Latish your host and when I first started this podcast I actually had picked out a different name um for some reason I became I don't want to say obsessed but the word fruit and what fruit began to mean and I started looking into it and all of that so I kind of wanted to name this podcast fruit and I'm going through my notes right now and I'm reading what I actually wrote so I'm listening to fruit. Um, our chosen elect by care, which means chosen. And this podcast, my objective is to discuss all things relating to the Most High and to cause ponderance of His will and to the things concerning Him. We have to re-educate ourselves and on our values and traditions we have been taught like holidays, religious doctrines, Satan, values, and morals. We have to reteach ourselves character building and gain knowledge by discipline. I've been thinking about fruit a lot, and then the Britannica, it says it's the fleshy or dry 
ripen the oak tree of a flowering plant, enclosing the seed or seeds. Strong's number 86529. And it's found 119 times. It's mentioned. So it's very important to me that I began to walk in my purpose and to start to produce fruit with educating myself and others. So thank you for tuning in and let's jump straight right into this. Now, your guys, you are going to be seeing a lot of cars. Unfortunately, they find out that there's a big wall there once they get there. Double meaning. Double meaning. What they say, no pun intended. But, uh, yeah, I really did want to name this podcast Fruit. And one of the things that I love about the Most High is nothing ever becomes irrelevant. Nothing ever gets old nothing becomes irrelevant something that i was thinking about um 10 days ago two years ago three five years ago as long as i've been reaching into this stuff or the things of him nothing ever gets old nothing does it's just as prominent today as it was yesteryear So, um, I'm going to try to see if I have a list in here of the episodes with, okay, here we go, of the episodes we've actually done already. Okay, and some, uh, the first show was 10 Reasons Why I Know That The Most High Exists. So, I'm not sure if I used all 10 of these. But I'm pretty sure I probably did. The first reason I gave was my experience with spirits. Second, escaping death. Sodom make a more. Science, rules, and intelligence. Craving righteousness. True prophecies in the Bible. Power of darkness. The afterlife. The rainbow. And the unity of all. And there was something big that I felt that I left off the list something that's important very important to me something that most of us if not all of us have a liking for and that is animals one of the reasons that I know for a fact that the creator exists is because of the animals that he's had that he has down here if you look at the alligator, the snakes, the smallest snake, the biggest snake, all of them are beasts. You know what I'm saying? The lion is a beast. The alligator and crocodile, those are beasts. In the good and the bad way. They are beasts. You you can't just dream something like that up. When I see when I see animals, I wow to whoever can create that animal and the mere fact that you can sometimes go and touch people can actually put their hands on these animals I think if matter just jumped together you would have something with an eyeball on its booty and uh, you would not be able to touch it okay because we know for a fact when they create something down here anything that gets created when like the computer you put in a password there's no flexibility it's always no even if you want it it's a no you know what i'm saying so when when with the animals there's a flexibility now there they will eat you and they will show you that they don't play but at the same time you can go out and you can touch some of these animals and they're all just so beautiful to me. Except for snakes. I, I don't like serpents at all. But when it comes to all of the rest of the animals, oh my goodness. Like I would love, I talked about in my, in my dreams podcast about my sister getting eaten by a hippo. And I began to binge watch videos on hippos and and I'll, I'll watch a lot of nature videos anyway. I try to stay away from movies as much as possible. 
I can't really tell you the last time I've seen one. wasn't wasn't too far along. I believe it was uh, about Harriet Tubman was the last movie I seen. Yep, I think that was the last one. But I don't watch movies too often. I try to stay away from them. And I try to stay away from um, music as much as I can. Um, and when it comes to that hippo, you when they go up and they place their hands on that on that animal, it's just amazing to me. I love seeing people get close to animals we consider beasts who will eat you up and spit you out in less than five minutes. The teeth on them. The attitude on them. You have to respect those animals. And yesterday I was talking to my fiance and we were talking about if we had to, would we kill animals to eat? And I said to myself, I absolutely would. And the reason I know, at first I used to be like, no, I wouldn't kill animals to just for me to eat. You know what I'm saying? I would rather be a vegetarian. I, I didn't grow up like that. It's something I couldn't do. But then I started, my mind started to change on that subject almost in, completely in one day. And that's what knowledge would do for you. That's why we're here. Because something that you've been doing or thinking for the last 20 or 30 years will be changed in one moment. It'll be changed in one moment because of knowledge. And we can see at the beginning, which I would love to be my next video, the, uh, the garden of good and evil, the tree of good and evil. It was knowledge that changed everything. That knowledge that they received, and I can't wait to share what I've been finding out just on one verse, just, just one verse was packed with so much understanding and so much knowledge and so much wisdom. The Most High does not play. He is so wise. He's genius. The stuff that I noticed that he does, he is a genius. Um, look at the sky, y'all. That's like water up there. Holds itself in place. Go down to the beach. The water holds itself in place. Look at the birds. When you come outside, just look at everything. Look at what's supposed to be here and what's not supposed to be here. Everything that's not supposed to be here is dead. Everything that's supposed to be here is alive. So to go back to what I was just was saying, I knew that I would in fact kill an animal because we have a creator that's all about life, right? So why would the creator of life give us something dead to eat? He's not gonna, and if you understand him, you we, we can see that he's not gonna give us something that's dead to eat. Yes, you're gonna have to get out there, you're gonna have to kill it. You're supposedly the strongest being on the planet. Physically, let's say that. You are the strongest being on the planet. If we are more than animals, how do you think that we would not have to go out and kill and hunt and all of that stuff for food? Granted, we wouldn't have to if what happened at the beginning didn't happen, but it did happen, and here we are can't change that. You can only flow forward with it and amend, no pun intended, amend the things that you've been doing. That's why I made that podcast that. Because I want to amend 
the relationship that I have with the creator, I want to fix it. I want it to be the best it can be. And I want to have some loyalty to somebody who's had it for me. You guys, I have a long testimony. I could have written a book probably when I was 20 years old and it would have been full. Same thing at 25, of course. Same thing at 30. And now the same thing at 35. Trouble, the tribulation started the day I was born for me. Just the thought of my existence was a problem. Okay. I have a long, long, long testimony. And it is a fact. I know without a doubt that the Most High is personally, have personally brought me through. Personally. When I think that nobody else in this world cares for me, I know and I can relax and I can be aware of the fact that he does. Somebody does. Sometimes I just want to have a conversation with him. Which I still do, but, you know, like face to face. He is the only one that's been there through everything. And he's the one that put in place narrow escapes me to get through these walls, okay, for me to go over these bridges, through these walls, and make it out on the other side. So I thought it was important that I do something down on this earth to show my gratitude towards him. You can never do enough. We've done so much against the Most High, you can never do enough to repay Him. But He said following His way will suffice. So I'm going to be struggling until the day I leave out of here trying to do that. I can no longer lead a quote-unquote normal life chasing money and ignoring the backdrop, the scene that's being played simultaneously as everybody moves. As we move, there's another dimension moving as well. You can spend your whole life ignoring it, but just like that wall up there is, you're gonna hit it, okay? Like I, I say all the time, it's up to you. And who would want somebody to follow them? You know, who didn't have free will. I wouldn't want you if you didn't have free will. The most high smarter than me, he's a genius. So why would I want somebody following me? And I had to make them follow me. Why? He doesn't have to show himself. He doesn't have to talk to us. And then, as a matter of fact, he was asked. He was asked to stop talking to us. He didn't stop talking to us because that's what he wanted to do. They don't tell the truth in church. They don't tell the truth. And that's why you have people falling away. I feel like they're falling away by the thousands, but I, 
you know, I can't prove any numbers. But people are falling away. And most of the people that still go, they're not following the right way anyway. They're not. So you guys, this video was supposed to be about things that I wanted to add in into old topics that I had already done. But I don't know. Maybe I should just keep going until you know this phone stops. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. So we'll do that, y'all. We'll make this video as long as it's going to get because I have about an hour and a half to spare. Usually at this point, I would just stop. I try to keep the videos under 30 minutes to, for one, for a convenience for you guys, but also because I'm doing all of this through my phone. I'm doing everything through the phone. But that's how important this is to me to do. It's very important to me. So, let's get back on track, y'all. So, we have a. Uh, okay, that was the 10 reasons why I know the most I exist. And then in the first few episodes, I went over some of. Uh, reasons okay so uh for number one ten reasons why i know he exists i know he exists because those animals are beasts they live they breathe they're alive you can ride a horse that was our transportation y'all no oil needed no ball joints needed no brakes needed, got built-in brakes. You didn't need it. The most, you will always find out that the most highest way was the best way. We trying to run and start our create stuff that's worse, not even worse, but just bad period. That what we already have didn't appreciate, somebody in, in some time in history didn't appreciate all that we had here. But let me tell you something. I do. I do. I can see what he's done. Okay. So in my experience with spirits video. And I told about a lot of the experiences that I had. And what did I walk away with wishing that I did say? can't remember wishing that I would say too much about this one. Um, of course, there are some stories that I left off. Let me try to think of one that I can reveal right here. Um... of anything right now but I do know I left things off so let's just skip past that escaping depths I'll talk about one of this one so you guys I am um, two years ago exactly I had a friend and the friend had asked me to go down to the beach and for some reason and that wasn't the first time in my life where I was actually going against something that I wanted to do so he kept on riding and asking me let's go to the beach hey let's go to the beach it was beautiful out I remember it was probably like five or six nice time of the day you know when some of those days when it's like five or six and it starts getting like glowy out like how it looks right now and you get like this 
surge of energy in you. So that's what was going on with him. You know. So we finally, I finally gave in and we went down to the beach. After a while, I fell into the water. And I remember popping back out and I can't swim, you guys. So I was so shocked that I was floating. <laughs> I was so shocked I was floating. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, but oh my goodness, I'm sitting here, I'm floating, I'm in the ocean. Will I get eaten by bull shark? I know they like fresh water. So there's a post in front of me. I try to reach, scratch, I'm trying to claw my way to this post. And it's just like at least six inches away. But I didn't, I don't know how to swim. I didn't know then. And it was just right, it was so close, but unfortunately it wasn't close enough. Now my friend, he was up at the top, and what I called, he was acting like Dave Chappelle, acting like Rick James. On top of the pier thing. So, on top of the pier thing. So I'm just sitting there looking at him like, oh my gosh, please help me. Because what I quickly noticed is that when you're drowning, you can't scream. You cannot scream. You can't scream because your voice and your face is full of water. So you cannot scream at all. Only thing I was off. You know, that's all I was able to do. And then the rush of the waves, and they were, the water was freezing cold. The rush of the waves every five seconds was just, it was just taking me out. It was just come, it, I would see it coming and I would just, I would have a little bit of fear because every time I would see that wave and I couldn't, I couldn't swim. So I couldn't duck, I couldn't move out the way everyone that was coming and it seemed like they were over and over and that's how my life was at that point that's how my life was and a, a couple days a few days before then I had just broke up with the next um, of 10 years and I remember I would keep saying that I felt like I was drowning. And when I found myself in that position for real, the reason I even had said that is because it was so many waves of tribulation that had came upon me suddenly. Just still, I, I don't even know if the wave is over yet. That's how long it's been. And we're talking about two years. So, probably in the last two to three years, I probably almost lost my life four times. People would believe everything that could happen to a person has been happening. But I've still been able to go forward. And I had found out about the most high in just enough time before I actually had to ride those waves. I had found out about him in time. Because when I found out about who he is and who, what he does truly, when I found out the truth about him, that was all the graft that I had to hold on to. 
and I held it because I knew I would be all right as long as I had it. Get into it. Now back to the drowning. So I'm in the water and the waves are coming over and over and over and over. I can't breathe. And I, I just knew it was over. And I'm still disappointed because I wasn't praying. Oh, I'm, that's what I'm most disappointed about. I mean, it hurts to keep reliving that moment over and over and over, but I'm really hurt that I didn't pray. Because it's important, you guys, when sometimes you will die, you won't even pray. Things start transpiring so quick. But I'm sitting there, I'm dying, and I'm not even praying. I didn't beg for my life one time. So, I'm steady reaching for the post, and I'm, now I'm just drifting away. My friend doesn't see me. I'm just drifting away. And I'm drifting off, and I can't breathe. The next time I awoke, I was in the hospital. You guys, my sister, she was the only one to come visit me. And, well, my ex came to it, so that's why. My ex came to it. But my sister, she came up there. And when she walked into the room, she just started hollering. You know, and I'm like, girl, what's wrong with you? I'm okay. I am okay. So, uh... I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror. My eyes were redder than a fire engine. I left my hair down in the water. It's still there. <laughs> what a sight. I scared myself when I looked in that mirror. <laughs> And my sister, she just started crying. <laughs> she bawled her eyes out when she looked at me. Okay. And before then, when I woke up, right after I woke up, I had this nurse. He was a man. And I could hear him talking on the phone. He was like, yes, she's here right now. She's here right now. So, now me being in the field of working with other people, I know that he was violating that hip law. So I'm like, you telling people about me and that I'm here? And he was like, girl, you're on the news. And I said, what? So he changed the channel and there it was on the news. And there were no details or anything. It was very vague. But they just keep they just keep a document very good documentation on the drownings around here because they happen so often I think it wasn't a week before the next drowning had happened and then when I started to begin looking for a drowning they happened over and over and over and over and over the doctors told me that I was under for five minutes know that if the, the cold water slows down your heart. When I left the hospital, which I left the same day, I was full of water. I tasted like sea water for not even, and that's not the sea, like I tasted like that weird water taste. Some days I still get it to this day. I was flooded and drenched, you know, with water is like, oh, it's like it became a part of me or something. I guess I had swallowed so much of it. And, uh, but yeah, you guys, that's, that's one of my near-death experiences, um, that I, 
recently had. I, I think I still even suffer a little bit. I can laugh about it now, but I still, I laughed about it that day. But I suffer a little bit of what I feel is traumatic stress. Because in that moment of drifting away, and I remember it was a song out that out at that time where he would keep saying, I'm drifting away. Wave after wave. Wow. And I used to listen to that song all the time. Because like I said, I now it could have been the power of the song. Because that's how I felt. I felt that way until it actually happened. You know what I mean? So, it was just strange, it was weird. That was a long one. That was a long one. Um, now my third reason I know he exists was Sodom and Gomorrah is actually the note and the video that I titled it. But for this one, I wanted to talk about what it was that I was actually thinking about after when I made this. I know what everybody's thinking when you say it's not a make more you think about um yes uh a little bit that i wanted to add was i think that people don't understand the full definition of what sodomy truly is and sodomy is uh oral sex as well Yeah, I think that everybody pretty much knows that it's a, it's a more explicit type of encounter, but it's also an oral encounter as well. So that's something that I wanted to mention in that video. And I also wanted to mention that when it comes to proof that things that he said that had happened, such as the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah, because that was my point, the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah. Not so much the acts, but the ruins. Okay, because there's a, there's so many acts. There's all 10 violations um, going off. Every violation that he has is present. So it was the ruins of it that was kind of the point of that video. And as well, there's a, there's been found some chariots um, in the Red Sea and I did not make that point that was a point that I wish that I had stated through the video okay so science rules I just kind of wanted to go into that um, specifically probably in another video Craven Righteousness if that video with I believe that was what it was for me I probably had afterthoughts of what I could have said, but nothing, nothing shaped me. Nothing that I continuously thought about. But I did crave righteousness as a, and I would hate hypocrites at an early age. And I, I came to found that I dislike liars a lot as a child. Because I would put, like I said before, I would put people on a pedestal so when they would fall, I would be upset with them. But the truth just was that they never had a place on a pedestal. But that's a lesson that you learn. That's one of those life lessons that you have to learn and it's going to be a personal journey for everyone. Prophecies in the Bible, like I said, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, and then, and this is not even prophecies, but we have prophecies that are already have happened, such as Sodom and Gomorrah, the ruins of that, the ruins of uh, when Moses led the Egyptian army into the Red Sea and it closed its walls on them. And supposedly the chariot was the chariot of a ruler. So, what are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? And some of the wisdom that's in the book, you just can't make it up. 
you can't make it up. And he says exactly what people are going to do, exactly how they are. He, he reads them to a T, to a T. Even when my attention is taken that way, and then I notice what he says, and I'm like, wow, that was that was spot on. How did you know? Because he's always spot on. He knows. The afterlife. Um, had a couple of experience with the afterlife. Probably do that at another time. The rainbow. Self-explanatory. The, it was a covenant. About the water. Okay. And another thing about the water is. The water is the sun. So. Either you can be with him and flow with him or you'll get shipwrecked by him and that's all I'm going to say about that and the unity of all I haven't done a video yet so I'll leave that subject untouched and I also did the dreams I don't know if I no I didn't do a video on rainbow afterlife power of darkness or the prophecy yeah, so a lot of these subjects I haven't um, made videos yet. I just spoke about it briefly in one video. And so, in the. Oh, okay, that's why things are seeming like they weren't all the way told, or I didn't go all the way into depth with them because there is no video on them. So, what I will do is continue to make videos on these subjects and I would like for us to get a, acquainted to the alphabet that's why I like to do the videos of a one word subject at this point um, break down that because you're you're that's gonna stick in your mind that's gonna stick in your mind instead of giving you a whole lot of information when you pick a dream You'll drink of, uh, not drink of, but when you think of dreams, you'll think of, you know, the letters, Kalam. You'll think of, when you think of Tom, you'll think of Lashun. So that's what I'm hoping to bring to the table. Wisdom, not wisdom, because wisdom wouldn't come from me, but you'll come into a more knowledgeable state and uh, awareness so thank you guys for listening some of you are watching make sure you comment you rate you subscribe um and that's about it thank you for coming to hang out with me doing this freestyle session that we had today on the I Am Man podcast. Make sure you check out the new artwork around. Um, remember to check out the look in the description box below if you want to support the podcast. Make sure you go to I Am Man on Patreon. Make sure you go to I Am Man on Patreon. Go to I Am Man on uh, it's not on YouTube, but I Am Man on Facebook. I am in on Instagram. Um, if you're looking for me and other stuff that I do, I like to do vlogging videos and I like to do cooking videos and um, I like to do do-it-yourself videos. And pretty soon, I'm gonna start tackling my health. And I'm thinking about having. Well, I know I'm going to be doing another podcast and Jason with this one as well. So please stay tuned and keep up with me, you guys. And let's head in the right direction for once. Anybody who's rolling with me, we got to be going in the right direction. I'm here for you. You're here for me. I want quality people following me. People with hearts, people with morals, people with minds that think. Okay? You don't have to be intelligent. You don't. Only thing you need is to know the truth when you hear it. Welcome to I Am In.